Hey guys, have you ever sat there frozen just wondering how the hell you respond to a text you just got from a guy you like? I know I have. Texting someone you're crushing on or someone you're just starting a relationship with can be both exciting and nerve wracking. And it's totally normal for it to feel difficult at times. You know, we all text now more than we actually talk to each other. And although it makes communication quicker and easier, it also makes a damn sight harder too. I mean, when someone's right in front of you, it's easy to see the intentions behind their words. You can tell if they like you or not because you can see their body language and their tone of voice. So when you're face to face with someone, you can tell if you're going to get rejected and you can respond in real time so that you can walk away with your dignity intact. But when you're texting, there's a real risk that they might just leave your message on red and not bother responding. Or even responding negatively, which is just gut-wrenchingly scary. I don't know about you, but I just don't have that thicker skin. Being rejected, even via text, can be incredibly hurtful that it makes it feel like every text, especially at the beginning of a relationship, is a high stakes situation. This fear of rejection can make it difficult for you to initiate conversations to respond to their messages, which is obviously not good for you if you want to make the relationship move forward. So let's dive into five tips and tricks that will help you guys text with confidence. In the beginning, it's super important to keep things casual. Don't overwhelm them with long, serious texts or ask too many personal questions. In Instead, start with something lighthearted and fun, like a meme or a joke. This will help you build a connection without coming on too strong. If you're just getting to know each other, keeping things casual can take some of the pressure off. When you're not trying to have a serious conversation all the time, you can relax and be yourself. With casual text, it's usually pretty easy to come up with a response. This can make the conversation flow more smoothly and keep things from getting awkward. Keeping things light and playful, sharing memes, jokes, or funny stories can help you get to know each other's sense of humor and create a positive vibe. Now, it can be tempting to put on a persona when texting with guys, but trust me, being yourself is the way to go. Don't be afraid to show your quirks and your unique personality. This will help you build a genuine connection and ensure that you're compatible with each other. Because nobody likes someone who's a fake and when you're being yourself, you're being authentic. This is important because if the guy is interested in you, he'll want to get to know the real you. It's much better to put up a front about who you are than to try to be someone you're not. Besides, being yourself will make you feel more comfortable, relaxed and confident. You don't have to worry about keeping up a persona or saying things that you think the guy wants to hear. You can just be yourself and that can make texting feel more natural and enjoyable. You can focus on the conversation and enjoy the moment which in turn can build your confidence. And there's nothing sexier to a man than a confident woman. If you're pretending to be someone you're not, you might attract guys who are interested in that persona, not the real you. By being yourself, you can find guys who are interested in the real you, and if they're not, then at least you know that you're not starting a relationship that is probably doomed to fail from the beginning. Ain't nobody got time for that. Some people hate emojis, Gen Z, I'm looking at you, and some people like millennials still love a good emoji, and emojis can be a great way to add some personality to your text, but be careful not to overuse them. Too many emojis can make your text difficult to read and some come across as immature, even though people in their 40s probably use them more than people in their 20s. So please use them sparingly to add some flair to your messages. Sometimes emojis can help convey tone and emotion in your messages. However, overusing them can make your messages come across as childish or insincere. It's important to use them in moderation and only when they add to the messages you're trying to convey. I mean, using a heart emoji too early in a conversation is probably something to completely avoid. Equally, don't go overusing your exclamation points. I don't mean be like, hey, you can use them to show you're excited, of course, like, hey, but going overboard is going to come across as a little intense. When texting, it can be difficult to convey tone and intentions, which can lead to misunderstanding. Make sure to read your text over before you send them. There's nothing worse than sending a playful text than having to send a spelling correction or another text to explain yourself. It just takes away the whole power from the text. And remember, when you're texting, the other person can't see your facial expressions or hear your tone of voice. This means that your messages can easily be misinterpreted if your tone is not clear. Your tone can also affect how attractive you come across to the guy you're texting. Using a positive and upbeat tone can make you seem more approachable and friendly, while a negative or aggressive tone can be a total turn off. The same way being cheeky is one thing, being rude is a dismissive and not cool. 
Lastly, don't overthink your text. Remember, texting is just one form of communication and it's okay if you don't always know what to say. It's better to keep things light and not take things too seriously. Overthinking can cause you unnecessary anxiety and stress. It's easy to get caught up in worrying about what to say or how the guy will respond. It can also cause you to come across as inauthentic or insincere. If you're constantly worrying about what to say, you might be more likely to say things that you think the guy wants to hear rather than what you actually think or feel. It can take away the enjoyment of texting. Texting should be a fun and relaxed way to communicate with someone you like. If you're constantly overthinking, you might be missing out on the joy of getting to know the guy and having an actual conversation. And like I said, texting is just one way to communicate. Make sure you're not spending all your time texting with each other in place of having real conversations. Nothing can replace that. So, those are my tips for texting with guys. Remember to keep it casual, be yourself and don't overthink it. With these tips in mind, you'll be well on your way to building a strong, meaningful connection through texting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give us a thumbs up down below if you like the video. Until next time, bye.